All right, my friends, I got 8.30 a.m., so it's time to do this thing. Uh, you got me for a lease this week and a lease next week as well. Susan's still recuperating, so um, I'm glad to be here. and Thanks for having me in, so it's been fun. Um, we will continue what we've been doing. I do see a couple of new faces, so my name's Dennis. Thanks for coming in. Um, we have our Get Your Cardio In class getting started here. So very, very critically important to me that you monitor and adjust and change things if necessary. Scale it up, scale it down. You can push a little bit harder. You can scale it down a little bit either way. We want to try and get that heart rate up, get some flexibility, get some strength going here and get our day started well. So let's get started with our warm up. Uh, warm up, basic moves, uh, we should all know most of the stuff. Something like a butt kick, which is number two. This is absolutely fine. Just driving those heels up. If you want to make it a little bit more of a jog or even a run, that's totally up to you. We're just trying to kind of do a similar type thing. And uh, move number four, we got a heel dig pec deck. Our elbows are up at right angles. I'm gonna drive that heel forward while I'm bringing those arms in parallel, trying to stretch and, and lengthen that Achilles and that calf back there, all right? Okay, we know what we're doing. We got ten, nine moves back to back, 20 seconds for each move. We're gonna start with a high knee march in place with big old arm circles, and we'll kind of go from there. All right, here we go, kids. We are standing up nice and tall, big long arms, march and swing. And even here, can you take that march a little lower? That's fine. We're just gonna try and keep those big, big circles going. Let's reverse those arms, other direction. Good. We got those butt kicks coming next. Butt kicks coming in about five seconds. Good. And we got butt kicks. You can walk it through like I'm doing. You can jog it through like I'm doing. We just wanna keep on moving. Good, good, good. Next up, we got jumping jacks. Now, jacks do not need to be full jacks. You can do a step out jack instead. Jack's coming in about three seconds. Jack, 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 or jack, or jack, whatever you want to do. We're just trying to get that heart rate up, get those bodies moving a little bit. Good. Heel dig pec deck coming up next. Heel dig pec deck. Peck deck, heel dig, peck deck, keeping those arms at right angles, bringing those forearms parallel. Good. Tapping that heel, stretching that Achilles and that calf. Good. We got squats next. We're going to do prisoner squats. Hands at your ears, dropping those hips like you're sitting in a chair. Squat. Good. Head stays up tall. You should see your beautiful face all the way down, all the way up as well. Good. We got skaters coming up next. We need a little bit of a lateral move. Putting one foot behind the other in a skater movement. Skate, skate, skate. Again, you can pep this up a little bit if you need to, or you can keep it pretty low key. Good. That step may tap the floor, maybe it doesn't. Your choice. Good. We got imaginary jump ropes coming next. Jump ropes coming. Pretend you have a jump rope in those hands, bouncing those feet. Your toes need not ever leave the floor if you don't want them to. If you do want them to, they can. If you need a little something extra, you can even give me a little side to side. Next up, we got punches. We're gonna take our feet real wide, punch aggressively across our body. Punch, punch, punch. I'm pushing through my back toe. Ha, ha. Keeping those fists up near those cheeks. Good, good. Good. Our final move coming up is a ladder climber. Sort of like a high knee, but marching and reaching that hand. Climb that ladder. Good. And once again, if it's too easy, you can pick it up a little tiny bit. Good. Good, good, good. Reach high. Drive that knee. Good stuff. Happy Wednesday. Okay, see you next week. Just kidding, just kidding, we're not done. Okay, quick drink of water. Quick drink of water. All righty, uh, find my timer here. Okay, here's what we got. We are going to do two moves plus a rest move. And it's really a rest move. So here's what we got. Move number one, you're gonna be at the end of your mat. Side shuffle, punch. So I'm gonna be right here, nice soft knees. Shuffle over, punch, shuffle over, and punch. This is your workout. If your shuffle looks like this, Awesome. If your shuffle looks like this, you do whatever you gotta do, but you're punching to the outside of your body. 
30 seconds or 20 seconds we're doing that. We're immediately going into what's called a skyscraper. So when I hear a beep, beep, I'm down here. I'm staying here, going right into a skyscraper. Hands up, feet down. If that's too easy, you can make it an actual jack with your feet. Otherwise, just stay right there. Not counting how many reps you do, you're doing 20 seconds. You're gonna hear another beat. That's our rest period. But our rest means we're in a squat, okay? So for your rest, it's an active rest. And if that's too easy, give me a little pulse, okay? That is our rest. And then we're right back to those punches. Even though it would be really, really hilarious, try not to punch your classmate in the face, okay? Keep it on your mat and don't punch anybody. Are we all set? Let's do this thing, guys. You're at the end of your mat. We are shuffling across and punching. Set, shuffle over, punch, shuffle back, punch, shuffle over, punch, good. I'm giving you a nice aggressive punch across my body. Ha, ha, ha. I'm trying to keep those fists up near my cheeks. That beep's coming in about six seconds. Wherever you happen to be, freeze it up and start doing those skyscrapers. And into it, right into it. Good. My arms are long and straight. I'm not really bending, I'm kind of squatting a little bit and then popping right up. I call it a skyscraper, we're trying to get nice and tall. On the next beep, it's our active rest. We're gonna hold a squat, hold a squat. Wherever's good for you. I want those legs to be singing a little bit. If it's too easy, give me a little pulse, good. Or we can just hang in that squat. If your squat is here, if your squat is here, your squat is here, it's all good. Okay. We got another beat coming up. We're going right back to that punch. Wherever you are on your mat, let's go. Head down, punch, head back, punch, head down, punch. Keep on moving, keep on moving. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. I saw that, trying to punch me. <laughs> she tried to punch me when I walked by. <laughs> Skyscrapers. The instant little me trying to turn up the radio. She was aiming right for my jaw. You guys saw that, right? <laughs> Good. On the next beat, we're holding that squat again. Good. Hold that squat. I don't know if this is good news or bad news, but this is exactly halfway through. We're doing four rounds total. This is the end of round two. Good. And again, this is too easy. You go a little lower in that squat. You can give me a little pulse. Those legs should be singing a little bit. Good. Get ready for those punches. Come up in three, two, one. Punch. Get across. Get across. Get across. Ha. Ha. This is your chance. We're taking your punching something. You're not going to get in trouble for it. Good. Right across. Can you keep those fists up near those cheeks? Good. You guys look spectacular, by the way. Good. Oh, back to our skyscrapers. We're in it. We're in it. Good, good. Skyscraper, extending, reaching, extending. If it's too easy, get a little hop in there, that's fine. Squat, hold, coming up. Hold that squat. Okay, people that know me know that I'm a giant jerk. So let's keep it going. Everybody, quarter inch lower, go. Oh, hold it. We got those punches coming. Last round coming, kids. Go, punch, go, punch, go, punch. Those legs, those legs should be feeling it. We're working the lateral. We're working the up and down. We're doing that static hold. Good. Ha. Come on, Wednesday. Skyscrapers coming. Skyscrapers, let's go. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Good. We are gonna hold that squat for the final 20, even though technically our sort of rest, we're gonna hold it anyway. Get down there, hanging out. Good. You're sitting in that imaginary chair, hands me in front, perhaps praying. No, I'm just kidding. Good. Seven seconds, quarter inch lower, go. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Four, three, two. Oh, buddy, shake it out, shake it out. Great start, great start. Okay, get a quick splash of water if you need it. 
We are moving on quickly because we do not have a ton of time. Okay, here's what we got, guys. This is something called an AMRAP, which stands for as many rounds as possible. We are gonna use a weight for this, but we're gonna get that heart rate up because that's what we're here to do. So here's what we got. We're gonna do four kettlebell swings, I'll explain all these in a second, four back lunges, and four push presses. And you're gonna stay on one side of your body the whole darn time. We're doing it for two minutes. We're not stopping. So here's what it looks like. I'm gonna choose my right arm to start. We're doing what's called a kettlebell swing. I'm gonna keep my feet wide. Sort of like hiking the football and then pop those hips. Two, three, four. As soon as you get to four, put it up on your shoulder. Back lunge, two, three, four. As soon as you're done, a push press. Two, three, four. And then back to your kettlebells. Make sense? It's four, it's four, it's four. I'll remind you as we're moving, you're staying on that one side the whole entire time. Two minutes on that one side. Are we all good? The kettlebell swing, by the way, should not get your arm tired. If you're feeling like my arm is really getting tired, you're kind of doing it wrong. You want to pop those hips, make those hips come forward. That's what makes the momentum of the belt come up. My favorite exercise in the whole gym. Doesn't need to be heavy, we just need to make sure we're popping those hips. Are we good? All right, here we go. Two minutes on the clock. Four kettlebell swings. Get ready, my friends. Get set. Pop those hips. One, two, three, four. Rack it up on your shoulder. Step back, step back, step back, step back. Rack it up. Push press, push press, push press, push press. Back to our kettlebells. Good, you're on your own count. You don't need me to count for you. Push press, by the way, you're allowed to get a little help from your legs. So you can squat a little bit and push those up. Okay, back lunge. Two, three, four. Push press. One, two, three, four. Back to my kettlebell. I personally like my hand out here for balance. Some people like it on their hip. Some people cross their body. It is completely up to you. But you want to keep going as many rounds as possible you can get. Good. Guys, we're not even halfway through this side. We're not even halfway. <laughs> halfway. Good. Good. Back to my kettlebells. One, two, three, four. Back to my lunge. One, two, three, four. Back to my push press. One, two, three. Good. Back to my kettlebells. That one side should be getting a little tired. That heart rate should be still up a little bit. If this is too easy for you, go a little quicker. Step back a little lower on those lunges, whatever you gotta do. 22 seconds, my friends. 22 seconds, my friends. Good, good, good. What am I doing? Kettlebells. I forgot what I was doing. I blacked out for a second. Four. Back lunge. One, two, three. Four, push press. One, two, three. Relax, put that thing down for a little bit. Nicely done, my friends. Well done, well done. Okay, quick splash of water if you need it. Okay, moving on, we got a little Tabata. 20 seconds work, 10 seconds of rest. We're not doing the other side yet, we'll come back to that side later. Okay, here's what we got. Move number one, you have multiple options. What I'm gonna do personally is visualize a square. My feet are staying together. I'm hopping up, hopping over, hopping back, hopping over, making a little square. You can go as fast as you want. If you don't like that, step, 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 step. But you're making a little square in the floor, okay? If you're feeling frisky, get that little hop going. Your goal, pretend I gave you a rich cracker between your knees. Don't break the cracker. Keep it tight, don't drop it, okay? Move number two, we're gonna do what do we got? A ladder climber, just like we did in warm-ups. Move number three, we got skaters, just like we did in warm-ups. Feeling frisky? Could take the dumbbell with you, if you wanted to. And our final move, we're gonna do an imaginary hammer slam. Pretend you have a sledgehammer. Basic move, slam, slam, slam. If you need a little something, something. Slam, 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 slam. 
swing, give you a little lateral if you feel like it. The most important thing is hit something that you're visualizing really, really hard. Are we good? Here we go. Visualize that square. We got a square hop. 20 seconds of work. Get ready. Get set. Forward, side, back, over, forward, side, back, over. Good. I'm not coming around with a protractor and a ruler to measure your square. Try to keep it as close as you can to a square though. Good. Nice job. Everybody's doing something different and that's great. Do what you need to do. Relax. No, it is good. It is good. We got ladder climbers. Ladder climbers coming up. You got to break. Calm down. You got to break. Okay. Here we go. Get ready. Go. That reminds me. I do want you to need the 10 second recovery time. So make sure whatever you're doing, you're working hard enough that you need to get that 10 seconds, okay? You do have a 10 second break between each move. Good. Relax, we got skaters coming up. So again, that foot may tap down, maybe it doesn't. If you want to take a dumbbell, you're welcome to. Get ready, get set, kick it, good. 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 Good, good, good. Imaginary hammer slams coming up. We're working the lateral right now. Magnificent. Okay, grab your imaginary sledgehammer. Mine's over here. Okay, here we go. Get ready to slam something hard. Get ready. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Oh, you guys are being too polite. Come on, hit that thing hard. Don't be nice. We didn't get up at 8.25 in the morning to be nice. Come on. Ah, ah, ah. Hit it hard. Smash it, break it. Back to the top with those square hops. I'm going the opposite direction because I'm kind of like that. So I'm going to go in the opposite direction. Forward, over, back, over. Grab that wrist cracker between your knees. Forward, side, back, side, forward, side, back, side. Good. And remember, this is your workout. This is your workout. You need to scale it up or scale it down. That's what you gotta do. Faster, slower, higher, lower, whatever you got. Ladder climbers, ladder climbers coming up in 10 seconds. Woo! Good, good, good. Oh my gosh, it's 8.47 already. All right, here we go. Get up there. Opposite side reaching. Come on, come on. Even if you're going slow, you want to get a nice reach. Even if you're going fast, you want to get a nice reach. Come on, people. Happy Wednesday. Uh, skaters. I'm going to take my dumbbell along just for funsies. All right, here we go. Skaters coming. Get set. So when we do things like this, where it's multiple rounds, you get a feel for it. You know what's coming. So you know if you need to adjust either way. Was that last round too easy? You're not feeling it? Go a little harder, go a little faster. Jump a little further. Was it a little troublesome? Scale it back a little. Relax, okay. Hammer time. Come on now. Get something aggressive, get mean. You can visualize somebody if you need to. Get ready. As long as it's not me. Visualize whoever you want. A boss, a co-worker, a neighbor. Oh, my neighbor, huh? Come on, come on, come on. I lived in Pittman for 20, 20 years, 22 years. I had the worst neighbor in the world. I live in front of me now in a townhouse. My neighbors are awesome. I love them. But man, that guy, oh, that old house. Oh, the stories I could tell. Where's Susan K? Susan? Is that, is that you? Susan K? She's out here? How about K? Just K, K, K. Happy early birthday, Friday, yes? And Susan's was yesterday, but I guess she's not here. Okay, we're going back to that other side. We got that kettlebell swing. We got that rack back lunge, and we got that um, push press. All right, guys, let me find my timer here. Correct timer, correct timer. All right, we got the other hand, yes? You know what arm you're doing? All right, here we go. We're getting right into it. For me, it's my left. I got four kettlebells. I got four alternating back lunges. I got four push presses. All right, let's do this. You can stay with me the first round if you like. Get ready. Get set. One, two, three, 
four, we're gonna keep it racked up. One, two, three, four, we're gonna keep it racked up. One, two, three, four, back to the top. Uh, 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 uh. Good. So a couple things going on here. You guys look great. Very individualized. You're doing whatever you need to do. You can do this literally with no weights. I'm still swinging my kettlebell. I'm still doing my back lunges. I'm still doing my push press. Even though I have no weights. I just want to keep on moving. That's the whole goal. Today, tomorrow, and into next year, we want to keep on moving the whole time. Good. I got my kettlebells. I got my back lunge. Good. I got my push press. Halfway there. That's halfway. That's like 50%. Good. When you're doing something like that back lunge, it's really not a whole lot of cardio, but oh my goodness, so good for our core. Think about keeping your body nice and straight and tall. Even if it's only a tiny step back, we're still keeping tall and vertical. And then of course, the kettlebell swing, my personal favorite. Explosive move, pop those hips. It's all about those hips popping forward. Boom, boom. You don't need to say boom, boom, but you gotta think boom, boom for sure. Good. I'll tell you what, my up arm gets tired just for being up there so long. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. Good, good, good. Come on, people. It's nine minutes till nine already. We got stuff to, I got like 27 pages of, no, I'm just kidding. Come on, relax, relax. Get a quick drink. Get a quick drink. Okay. I don't know how you're gonna feel about this and we're gonna do it anyway. All right, let's see. Let's do that, let's do that. Let's do this. Okay, here's what we got. We're gonna do a round of we go, you go. So, this barrier right here, we are on one team, you guys are on the other team, okay? So I'll be on this team to start. So for, <laughs> for 15 seconds, my team is gonna do side lunges. So standing tall, side lunge, side lunge, Try to get down as low as I can. One leg stays straight, okay? We're gonna kind of bend in that. If your lunge is here, awesome. If your lunge is here, awesome. You do whatever you gotta do for 15 seconds. While we're doing that, you guys are doing pretend jump ropes, okay? As soon as you hear a beat, you guys start to lunge, we'll start the jump rope. Six rounds all together, we all set? All right, my team, get ready. Feet start together, we're doing lunges. You guys get ready, we have jump ropes. 15 seconds for each round. My team, get ready. Your team, get ready. Go. Good. Good. On the beat, you guys go to your side lunge. We are gonna go to our jump rope. Jump rope on my side. Side lunge over there. Good, good, good. If this is too easy, you can always go a little quicker. You can add a little side to side. On the beat, we're switching again. Switch again, good. So I see lots of variations out there. Do whatever you want to. My side lunge, I stop the top, go out, stop the top, go out. You're welcome to keep it low if you prefer. Good. Switch. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good, good, good. We got one more switch for each move. Go. Last time we're doing lunges. Last time you guys were doing jump ropes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ha. 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 Last time we're doing jump ropes. Last time you guys were doing lunges. Come on, finish strong. We've come this far. Ha. 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 Don't let it be too easy. Drop that lunge deeper if you need to. Go faster on those jump ropes. Relax. Okay, we got time for one more Tabata. We got time for one more. We're good. We're doing quantity and quality here today, guys. Okay, here's what we got. Move number one. I'm gonna take my dumbbell with me. You're totally welcome to, you don't have to. I'm gonna hold it goblet style. We're gonna do a step out squat. I know we just did lunges. I'm gonna do a step out, step out squat. Move number two. 
Peck deck jacks, like we did in warm ups, except we're gonna make it a jack or a jack. Okay, move number three. <laughs> I'm gonna visualize a line on the floor. No, I'm not. I'm gonna visualize a line this way. I'm going over, over, back, back, over, over, back, back. Just like so, as fast as I can go, okay? And our last move, we did this last week. Squat, kick with your heel. Squat, kick with your heel. Are we good? Let's go. Step out, squats is first. Weights at your chin if you wanna take it. You do not need a weight. Totally optional. Feet start together. Step to one side. Step to the other side. Step to the other side. Step to the other side. I'm running out of sides. Step to the other side. Good. Your squat is your squat. If you need to go lower than me, that's fine. If you're going not as deep, that's fine. Weights down, we got pec deck jacks coming up. You got 10 seconds. Okay, all those should not drop below your shoulders if you can avoid it. Feet together, hands together. Go, go, or go, go, go. And even if you're doing the step out, think about keeping those elbows up at shoulder level. Yes, you guys look spectacular. Good. Good, good, good. Good. Okay, fast feet. You can literally use a line on the floor because there's a lot here. Or just visualize. I'm going over, over, back, back, over, over, back, back. Ready? Starting slow. Over, over, back, back, over, over, back, back. And if you're ready, pick up that pace. Remember those old time dance things where they have like the foot patterns on the floor? Visualize you're doing that. Oh my God. Those are probably like 60 years ago. Come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, squat kick, squat kick. Again, we, we, we hit with a sledgehammer this earlier. Let's kick them now. Squat, drive with that heel, ready? Squat, kick, squat, kick. Is it too easy for you? You can give me a little hop in there if you like. Is it not great for you? Little squat, little kick. Little squat, little kick. We're going back to the top. Guys, this is it. Those four moves, one more time each. We'll have like 19 seconds of stretch at the end. Okay, back to the top. Step out squats. I'm using my dumbbell again. Woo! Happy Wednesday. Good. Get ready. Go. Good. Good. Peck deck jacks coming up. Good. Peck deck jacks coming up. Remember, we got a 90 degree angle on that side, a right angle over there. I was a high school teacher for 33 years. And whenever a kid came in and said, it's really cold in here, Mr. Weaver, I'd say, go stay in the corner. They're always 90 degrees. Okay, here we go. Peck deck. Kids that knew math, got it. Other kids just looked at me like I had four heads. Like five years ago, a girl asked me what time it was. We were out of track practice. I said, it's quarter to five. She's like, what do you mean? I'm like, quarter to five? She had no idea what quarter to five meant. I'm like, a quarter of an hour? She's like, 25 minutes? Like, no, that's a quarter of a dollar. Okay, fast feet, forward and back. Get ready. Go, go, go. And I bet she was not uh, an individual. I bet there was a lot of kids. I mean, they don't use analog clocks anymore, right? So they would not know a quarter of an hour. She had, she's like, why did you say 15 minutes before? I'm like, it's the same thing. She had no idea. <laughs> okay, last move of the day, kids. Squat kick. Let's make it count. Let's get those aggressions out. Squat kick. Ready? <laughs> squat. Heel kick. Squat. Heel kick. Squat. Break that board. Kick that imaginary object or that very rare real person that you're visualizing. I don't care. Get out there. Ah. Ah. Aggressive. We're getting some boxing in. We're getting some weights in. We're getting a lot of cardio in. Ah. Relax. Everybody in the room, one lap around your mat while you're walking, shake your legs out. Take a lap around your mat, shake those leggies out. Good stuff. Okay, back home real quick. Let's get a fast, fast stretch. Lock those fingers together, feet wide. Torso twist, side to side. Give that lower back some love. It did a lot of work for us today. You guys are awesome, by the way. Thanks for having me. Good. And relax. To the best of your ability, feet together, hinge over. 
stretching out those hamstrings. You can touch your knees, your shins, your shoelaces. If you want to show up and touch the floor, be welcome to. I can't do that. Good. Slowly roll back up, one vertebrae at a time. Good, good, good. Favorite arm across your body. Just give it a little pressure above that elbow. We did a lot of stuff with our shoulders moving around. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Switch, other arm up. And relax, just give me a little side to side butt kick. Drive that heel towards that butt. You really want to feel that stretch in the front of your quad, that thigh muscle. Good. And relax. One foot goes back. Push that heel into the floor, stretching that Achilles and calf. Let's throw those hands straight up in the air. Your heel should be in contact with the floor. Okay, we're going to drop our back knee about four inches. That means your heel's allowed to come up a little bit. Just a little, just a little, just a little, just a little, and relax. Shake those arms out. Other leg is back, heel into the floor. Let's take our hands out to the side this time. See if paying attention. Chest is up tall, heel is into the floor. Drop that back knee a couple of inches. Just hold it, just hold it, just hold it, just hold it. And relax. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Two giant inhales for everybody. Number one, number two. <coughs> My friends, thanks for having me. I'll be here next Wednesday. I better see y'all back again on Wednesday. Have a great rest of your week. Make good decisions. Make sure